Mr. President, you said several times that the United States has ramped up testing, but the United States is still not testing per capita as many res as many people as other countries like South Korea. Why is that, and when do you think that that number will be on par with other countries? Yeah, well, and it's, Dr. it's very much on par. The, the, look, we have done more tests. What I didn't I didn't talk about per capita. We have done more tests by far than any country in the world, by far. And you should be saying congratulations instead of asking a really uh, snarky question, because I know exactly what you mean by that. You said repeatedly that you think that some of the equipment that governors are requesting, they don't actually need. You said New York might need, I, that I might not need 30,000. You said it on Sean Hannity's Fox News. Come you said you know, that why you don't, might. Why don't you some, people act? Let, let me ask you. You said why some don't state, you act? Why don't you act in a little more positive? It's always trying to my get question you. To you. Get is, you, get you. And you know what? That's why nobody trusts the media anymore. My That's question why to you people, is, how is that going to impact? Excuse me, you didn't hear me. That's why you used to work for The Times, and now you work for somebody else. Look, let me tell you something. Be nice. Don't Mr. be President, threatening. Mr. President, my question don't is— Don't be threatening. My first question is, you said that you don't take responsibility, but you did disband the White House pandemic office, and the officials that were working in that office left this administration abruptly. So what responsibility do you take to that? And the officials that worked in that office said that you that the White House lost valuable time because that office wasn't disbanded. What do you make of that? Well, I just think it's a nasty question, because what we've done is, uh, and Tony had said numerous times that uh, we've saved thousands of lives because of the quick closing. I mean, you say you say we did that. I don't know anything you, about it. You don't know We're about spending, the, no, about the don't reorganization know. that happened the, at the National it's Security It's the administration. Council. Perhaps they do that. You know, people yeah, let it, people go. You used to be with a different newspaper than you are now. You know, things like that happen. But this was a, okay. this was an order. Please, this go ahead. What do you say to Robert Mueller? Let me just tell you something. I, I know you're always, you always have a question. You mean my White House aides lied? What about his aides? What about what about Mueller's aides? He didn't say that at all. You're untruthful when you ask. You are untruthful when you ask that question. When you ask that question, you're untruthful. On the campaign trail, you called yourself a nationalist. Some people saw that as emboldening white nationalists. Now people are also saying that the president. I don't know why you'd that say that. That's such a racist question. There are some people that say that no. now the Republican Party is seen as supporting white nationalists oh, because of your rhetoric. That. I don't what believe What do you make that. of that? I don't believe it. I just, well, I don't know. Why do I have my highest poll numbers ever with African Americans? Why do I have among the highest poll numbers with African Americans? I mean, why do I have my highest poll numbers? That's such a racist question. Honestly, I mean, I know you have it written down and you're going to tell me. Let me tell you, that's a racist question. And Mr. Uh, President, I, I love ask you know what the word is? I love our country. 